in my lifetime, I've noticed a, a big shift uh, in the incentive structures and everything uh, from university admission to youth sports, as well as the workplace, in rewarding specialization. Uh, do you think that, is there any alternative way that you can think of to reward multidisciplinary success as opposed to the, the very high degrees of specialization that seem to be what gain people's status and financial reward? Yeah. Well, of course, we should have high degrees of specialization. And if you get a nice little cancer in some ghastly place, you will not want a guy that really understands Proust. <laughs> you know, and, 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 but of course, it's my argument that you can be quite competent in your specialized field and also have the common sense over a broad area if you work at it appropriately. Let's take the case of Newton. More than half of the powerful creative period in Newton's life was totally wasted on alchemy and theology. And in the remaining half, he managed to create a, quite a distinction in his chosen profession. He had power to burn. Now let's assume you're not Newton. You're just a good guy who's going to be a good mechanical engineer. You know, don't you think you could get a general competency? just as you might be a good engineer and also play golf. There's plenty of time to do it without ruining your specialized competency. All you have to have is the will and the technique. And and, uh, and the, every hour you delay in doing it, it's just, you're just increasing the chances that you'll remain in the shallows. Now, most people are happy in the shallows. After all, there's always somebody that's in a shallower place. 